Bubala. Now for Namu Bafuejo. Here, Mu. Nagano could have an end of that. Eh? She knows she gained a mass. Nangan and I mass pucker. Kumbi. Kumbi. And she has been using the hoe alone for 10 years now to grow Sim Sim with minimal help from her grandchildren, who are most often in school. <laughs> for Jajana video, her Sim Sim has solely survived on nature. <laughs> While cutting it from the field, it's easy. The main challenge for Jaja remains constant. <laughs> The sun is also an enemy. The uncertainty may cause her to have lower yields. According to the Department of Crop Science at Makere University, in their overview of the agronomic constraints to same same production in Uganda, they cite various factors for the low yields. Poor management practices such as inappropriate fertilizer levels, poor soil fertility, which receives low rainfall, yet Simsim is a rain-fed crop and imbalanced nutrition. Intercropping also needs improvement to realize its full benefits. Most farmers grow the crop as an intercrop, especially with groundnut and maize, but don't know how to care for it. Plant population and spacing when poorly done leads to low yield as well. Planting it in rows eases weeding and increases growth and the yield. Simsim is also susceptible to pests and diseases, causing root and stem rot. All these factors are limiting the country's launch into exporting Simsim. It is just being considered as a potential crop for export, but for the farmers in Kayunga, the crop has various benefits. Zaina Bunansamba has been growing Simsim for seven years and she has bought a plot of land from the sales as well as taking her children to school. <coughs> After realizing that a kilogram for Simsim sold higher than other crops like beans, Nansamba became persistent. In importance, Simsim ranks second to groundnuts in the country, and like groundnut, is now one of the most expensive crops in Uganda. The two ladies, Nansamba and Jaja Nabidu, are not the only farmers of Simsim. In Busana Sub County in Kayunga District, from where they hail, almost every household is involved in growing this oil seed. Busana, ne Kayunga. Nansamba harvests three sacks of simsim while Jaja harvests one sack. Roughly a sack has about 100 kilograms. Multiplied by 4,000 shillings per a kilogram, a sack would earn them 400,000 shillings plus the value addition. <laughs> Over the next decade, when Jaja retires from farming, she says she would love to hold on to growing Sim Sim as a pastime. <laughs> and for Nansamba, she hopes this crop will see her eventually owning her own car. And as they continue to reap rewards from this crop, the government is still contemplating on whether or not to export. Florence Nalimba, NTV.